So today I'm taking a quick look at Clear Linux OS which is brought to us by Intel. It ships with the GNOME Desktop Environment version 3.341, the Material Compact theme and the Icon theme pack is Paper. Um, as you can see here in packages it says Flatpak, so it sort of heavily emphasises the use of Flatpak for sort of single use packages to distribute across your distribution. Um, it also comes with what they call Swap D, which is, let's just go here, a sort of a a replacement for a package manager that lets you install bundles of packages. So as you can see here it says manage software and replace apt or yum by installing bundles rather than packages. So I've had to do that already for a few things to get sort of LibreOffice and Lutris running and I'll just show you the sort of process you would have to do to install a bundle. So what you what you would do is just go open up your terminal sudo swap d bundle add and then here it would be games and then what that would do is install a, a list of packages um, and inside these packages we have as you can see Lutris, Mesa, Network Manager and it sort of bundles everything together that it thinks you'll need to run the games that you want well run the packages that you want sorry um, and then everything else you fall back on flat pack. Um, just a word of warning though so to get Lutris going I did have to increased the maximum number of files that were open by default it was only 496 which isn't isn't really enough for games and it wouldn't actually let me load magic the gathering arena so if you go into here look into the settings it will have hold on where are we an e-sync here so i could run it by disabling that but that sort of defeats the object so what we had to do was the steps sort of taken here so I had to make a system D config and then a system conf um, I'll show you what I did so I just went to let's see if I can just search it here we go so now my default limit is on the file is much larger than what the default is so then I won't run into any problems when I'm trying to launch a game or anything like that so bear that in mind if you install this to play some games because you do get some 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 good in performance boosts on, uh, so this is an Intel based laptop but even on AMD I've been reading sort of bits and pieces about people getting better performance even from AMD so that's that's really cool so let's just have a little run around the system now um, oh another thing I couldn't get Chrome GNOME shell to install extensions but it does let you install a GNOME extension actually through the software store so if you think of say dash 2 panel so yeah, you can just install your GNOME extensions there to get it looking how you want. And what extensions I've installed, I've got Caffeine as usual. Um, I've got System Monitor and then just a clipboard. And then I've moved my clock over here with Fripper Remove Clock. So that's sort of that. Let's get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. So the default wallpaper it comes with. Let's just get that up. It's a shame they're branded because I quite like this. So there's your default wallpaper. Um, let's switch back anyway. Um, there's a, a nice wallpaper pack, but for the most part they're branded. I've added some of my own here just through Reddit and similar sites. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I'm getting some really good performance. It's all very snappy. So out of the box it comes with its own tweaks. I've disabled some of them. So it comes with disable animations, but I've disabled that. And then it has the um, speed up animations, which I've kept on. So my animations now are very, very quick. So yeah, impatience. So even, you know, opening, it's just very fast and fluid. I don't experience any lag whatsoever. It just, it's a pleasure to navigate around actually. Oh, and I've installed GS Connect as well. Um, so these are all the other ones that it comes with out of the box. Um, and also comes with the application menu. So if you wanted to do that as well, but we won't be doing that. Okay, so let's open up a game. We've only got in Lutris anyway. We've only got this going. If anyone wants the game, by the way, add me. We can uh, we can have a session. But even with with that open, it's still it's still very fluid and snappy. So let's just jump over to there. Ah, see, this is what I'll keep running into. So I'm going to have to mess around with that to get it working. The installer keeps breaking every time it updates. I think there's a little workaround I've read on the actual Lutris site, so I'll have a look at that later. Um, so we'll just leave that. Hang on a minute, let's see what I... Hmm. 
No. Okay, we'll um, we'll have a look at that a bit later. Let's open up Steam. So I don't know if I've installed the flat pack or not. I'm going to assume I have. Let's go into the software store here where you install your packages. So if you was to search for a package, let's say GIMP, as you can see, you get two versions. I think one version will be a flat pack. Let's just have a look. There we go. So the source of this one's FlatHub, and then this one is uh, probably installed with a bundle or it came installed with the operating system. Mm, I'm going to assume it did. So I installed Caden Live as well, which is available as a flat pack, and you can also get it using a bundle. Um, I'm not sure what comes with the bundle. Does it have to be a bundle? Um, so you can search packages like this sudo swap d search kden live and then enter your password so now bundle with the best results kden live so it's a single bundle so you could just swap so let's do that now and let's see what version is more recent from the flat pack or the bundle so all we need a sudo in there don't we Right, so there you go. So it's downloading packs, 149 megabytes, point eighty three, Qt Core, Qt Basic, KDE Frameworks, LibQt5, Web Engine, and Caden Live. Okay, it's um yes, yeah, fairly straightforward to be honest. Swap D. I don't like typing it. It doesn't feel. I don't, what does Swap D stand for? Let's have a look. What are they actually calling their package manager? Let's have a look. Swap D has two main functions. Um, I'm not too sure. Anyway, so let's have another little read here. So from updates, so it automatically updates, but you can check and then you can disable it so you can update it on your own if you'd rather do that. So let's just pop that open. Pseudo swap D auto update, enter your password and it should tell you there you go we have it enabled um, and then if you wanted to disable it like that you could do that and then you could update it with sudo swap the check update so let's check for it manually see if it will let us check for it manually there you go so you can also check even with it on auto as you can see there are no current updates brilliant right let's just pop open a couple of Caden live where's the um, so we've got this Let's go on to here. There you go, both installed. So let's open. It's not got an open button. So we've got this one which we can launch, which is this flat pack, I do believe. Where are we? Where's the source? Um, not too sure. It did say it earlier though, didn't it? Let's click on this one version right so why is it not showing up in our applications so we've only got one what I'm gonna do is reboot it and see if that's gonna help us at all let's just do a quick reboot um, yeah I'm not too sure what's going on there There we go, boots up fairly quickly as well. And we are back. Right, let's go back into our applications. So it's still only showing one. Hmm. There we go, so I've managed to open one here. Okay, so it's got some missing packages. Maybe that's what's giving us an issue here. Um, so the bundle there didn't install everything it needed to. That's strange. Let's just click OK. Right, and here's the other Caden Live. So let's go on to Help and About Caden Live. 19.08.2. Now let's open up the flat pack. Ah, see, now we're, there we go. And then let's go to About Caden Live. So it's the same version. Um, 
I'm probably just going to stick with the flat pack though. I'm not too sure what's going on with that one and the missing packages and what's... I thought the bundle would have included it, but let's... So how do we remove a bundle? Let's try the obvious. Pseudo swap D remove bundle. Bundle remove? Because it's bundle add. Bundle remove KDEN live. Let's see if that works. There we go. That apparently worked. So now, let's reboot one more moment. Just want to make sure it's properly removed that and that I can't open it up with the terminal again. Uh, and we're back. Okay, so let's just try that again. There we go, so it's removed it all now. Um, I guess you can go either way and just install the other packages that it would need through the swap D or you can just install the flat pack and sort of be done with it. Um, yeah, not too bad though. So it comes with evolution to open your emails and whatever else. It comes with Firefox out of the box. Didn't come with Libra. I installed that myself. Um, I installed Telegram. I think it might have come with GIMP. Don't quote me on that. Um, it didn't come with Steam installed out of the box. And then it's just, yeah, just your sort of things that you'd probably come to expect now on a general GNOME distribution. But I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, I'm tempted to install it on a partition on my desktop and actually see how far I can push it with a sort of a catalogue of games and maybe report back on that. That is an AMD based desktop though, so I'm not too sure how that's going to go, but I'm quite happy with that. Um, if you've enjoyed watching the video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.